They don't wanna see me rise, no They just wanna see me fall When I've been giving my all I'm just gonna do it my way, my own way Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy Dolan here. Today, I have a brand new video for you guys. Today, I will be teaching you how to play singles. Basically, I have this new series starting up called Roll to 300 Wins Before Vegas. Optic IC bet $50, then I will not be able to get 300 wins before Vegas. We are currently at 130, almost halfway there, and we have about a month left. But let's get right into the video, guys. So keep in mind, when you're playing 1v1 singles, or you know, a foundation at least, because this is a triple foundation, I'm gonna play smart. Right there, I messed up. I tried picking up drop shot, thinking he was not gonna be able to see me, but little did I know that after a few seconds of the smoke being up, the other person could mark you through the smoke. So that was basically like an easy down for him. That was a given, man. So here, it turns into a boom shot round. So in the boom shot round, you want to try to play a little bit passive. You want to make sure he doesn't get dropped out or boom, you know. But boom shot is the main weapon on this map. So as you guys see, I stun him. I push up, making sure he doesn't pick it up. Because I couldn't see him no more. And I start hitting my shots. Right here, he shot twice inside a straight fan, trying to play for one shot chunk. And I did not allow that to happen. Scenarios like that, just play for shots. Now, if the person ends up picking up boom shot, you should be right in front of his face. If not, if he gets too close to you and you really hit him two or three times, just back row. I've learned that the hard way. But let's keep going, baby. Drop shot round. I don't have to play aggressive on T because it's a drop shot up. Right here, I just play for shots, making trying to make him poke out. He didn't poke out, so I said, you know what? I'm gonna go for the wraparound shot around the cover or reaction shot around the cover because I already hit him a really good shot. It takes five seconds to fully heal up on this game. So I didn't want to really give him the five seconds to heal up. And if they didn't poke out, I just pushed him. I try to play as smart as I can, try not to mess up. Right here is the boom shot. Right there, I try to give him let him. I try to let him hit me one time at least. I got a little bit too close, which almost cost me the round. But I ended up eating his shot and chunking him. That was kind of unfortunate. I don't know how many shots he actually missed, but I know he didn't hit all his bullets because of the way the shotgun, pellets, you know, went towards me. I think he missed like two or three pellets, and those two or three pellets that he missed ended up costing him the round. Right here. Drop shot round once again. I don't really have to play so aggressive on it. I try to sit back, take my time with it. So right here he moves up hurt. That was kind of dumb of him. So now that he's moved up, I'll just go for a quick reaction around the cover, hold my shot, get the down. I did end up eating that last shot he hit me with. And a quick wide button. Now the only reason I am wide button in this game, if I'm not mistaken, is because he did send me a message. If I'm not mistaken, it's alright, but you know, you gotta taunt people. You gotta get them heated. You gotta get them in the mode. That's something I do a lot too when I play singles. When I play singles, I try to get in the person's head. So if they're really good, I'll send them a message maybe. Sometimes I'll maybe feedback them a little bit or, you know, dance on them a little bit. Wide button and then try to get them mad. When you play mad, people play differently. People play like they don't care, they just want to push or try to like... They have something to prove now. Right here I'm crossing with the Lancer obviously, trying to play for damage. Now right here, that little spot at the top of the cover that you guys just saw me shoot, lets me get the person hurt. And that was my whole point of doing that little shot. I got him four pointed just by shooting that little crack, a little gap between both those covers. So whenever you guys have a 1v1 scenario and the guy sitting on the cover, feel free to aim over the cover. Because trust me, you're going to put some damage in.
So as second map is about to start, I want you guys to keep in mind that this is a triple foundation. So the second map, we definitely have to, you know, play the same way or try to play the exact same way. It might not be the same outcome, but you still want to try to play the same way you played game one. Unless you played bad game one, you want to change it up, obviously. But I played pretty good game one and one five one. I said, hey, why not? Right here, I start putting some pressure. I hit him with a few Lancer shots. And I didn't want him to heal up, so I keep blind firing the shotgun so he can't heal up. So right now, he's about 60%, and I get the down. Now, I want you guys to keep this in mind when you're playing 1v1 singles. If the person is hurt, it takes them 5 seconds to fully heal up. So if you keep hitting them with even the tiniest pellet of your shotgun or blind fire your shotgun, hit him with a pistol, Lancer, doesn't matter. It keeps them 4 point or it keeps them hurt. Which gives you the advantage when you end up pushing him. So right here the round is a good shot round, so I'm trying to play a little bit wide, not play a little bit smart, not too aggressive. Now what is that what was that doing right there you may be asking yourself? Alright. So basically that whole time, when he shot that last shot, I was already planning to do the reaction shot around the cover, but I didn't want to go for it until he shot me. So I'm over here waiting for him to shoot me. In a smart way, obviously. Shoot me. So as you guys saw, you know, that's the simplest way of explaining it, literally. Shoot me, wait for me to shoot you. If you're already planning the shot ahead, let him shoot before you. Make sure you don't, don't take that much damage. And right here, my guy's four pointed. So at this point, all I have to do is play a little bit wide with the Lancer and keep putting damage in because it takes five seconds to fully heal up. And since I didn't give him those five seconds to fully heal up, I ended up playing a little bit more aggressive on it. And ended up going down. Right there, there's nothing really that can go wrong as long as you keep your Lancer out. If the guy's four pointed on T, play a little bit for damage, angle out. It's, you know, the T a little bit, make sure he can't really go nowhere, because he kind of knows he's hurt, he can't go anywhere. The moment he up A's to either side of the cover, as long as you have a Lancer on your shooting, that side that he's up A'ing into will be a free down. So right here, it's a boom shot round. I'm trying to play a little bit aggressive on him. I'm trying to spot him through the smoke. So I spotted him and hit him with a few shots. So now I know that I have the damage opportunity, or I've done enough damage to kind of push up. He missed his shot, I hit my shot. Nothing more to explain about that right there. Like keep in mind, if you guys are spread or you guys are spam pressing the left stick in, it would allow you to spot the person through the smoke. And that's something that's used a lot in Gears of War and it's really helpful. I hope you guys use it. Now I don't want to spoil this for you guys, but I do want to lose the two rounds here. I will explain why I lost those two rounds. So let's kind of watch this together. So right here, I try to show off. So I was kind of bound to lose this round, and I still almost get the get that kill. I went for the reaction shot while I'm four pointed. Now, guys, me as a one v one player, I do get cocky sometimes. I try to show off, and I end up losing the round because of it. And sometimes I even lose maps because of it. So if you guys want to take GB serious, you know, all the time, you guys could. But I personally, the way I enjoy playing 1v1 GB is I like going for things that I wouldn't normally go for sometimes just because I'm up by a decent amount. So right here, I'm trying to spot him through the smoke again. I can't spot him for some odd reason. So right here, I spot him, and he does not go down. I personally believe I should have won that round, or that Lancer battle. But he ended up winning it because he had an active. Regardless, I feel like I should have been the guy on top of that fight, or that won that fight. But this game just BS me once again. This last round, then thinking in my head, I'm gonna take this guy super serious. I don't want to choke the lead. So right here, I threw a smoke in front of his face to try to, you know, not give him a little bit of visual. I'm crossing it as much as I can. I put uh, about 60% damage on him. 
Hit him with a really good blind fire and hit my last shot. He missed it into a cover. But that's it for the video, guys. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit that like button. Subscribe. Turn on post notifications. So you guys know when I upload new videos. And if you guys want this series to continue, please let me know in the comment section below. And until next time, peace.